You, insurance agent, it's time to stop procrastinating and it's time to get organized. Let's go. Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to the Broker Link. We are in the studio with our wonderful producer, Chris Houston. Chris, how are you? Very well. How are you? Good. This is your first episode of the new year to yes. join us. So we are very glad to have you. Thank you. Um, we're talking today about getting organized and getting yourself set up with a CRM, a customer relationship management system. Chris, did you know that it costs five times as much to attract a new client than to retain an existing one? I did not know that, but that's a really good stat. Five times, especially in the insurance industry where we have this renewal business. Right. So you're not just getting paid one time for your sales. So you're definitely missing out if you can't keep your clients. According to research done by Frederick Reichelt of Bain and Company, increasing client retention by 5% increases your profits by a whopping 25 to 95%. And I think that is definitely accurate when it comes to insurance and any kind of renewal or subscription business because your renewals are everything. So, if you want to scale, you have to keep your business organized. Customers, clients, they're everything, right, in these kinds of businesses. But maintaining a relationship with every single one of them, it can be pretty difficult without help. Um, Over time, the amount of information you have to keep track of, it can be too much to remember. Opportunities start slipping past you. Okay, so let's play this out. I'm an agent. It's the busy season of the year for me, whatever product it is that I sell, Medicare, health, life insurance, all of it, whatever I'm doing. I'm getting calls every single day, and let's say I just have like a a journal, right? And I'm just kind of writing things as they come in, and I'm setting appointments, and I, I might have a calendar, and I'm texting some people, I'm calling some, I'm emailing some. It's just a mess, but I'm going, 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 and hey, even still, maybe I have a successful selling season. And so now it's a new year. I'm looking back and it's time to get paid by these carriers and I'm not really sure (laughs) what all did I sell? Who, who all did I sell to? Right. So what am I going to have to do? Busy work. A lot of busy work. I'm going to have to go through every single phone call and try to remember who's who and get every single carrier port. I mean, that's just a mess and that's not a great way to run your business. It's too much work, and but it's important work. And the irony is so many people will hire out uh, other people for this busy work when this is the most important thing they can do for their business is to understand and to really get to know their own clients. And this is the best way to do it. And we're going to tell you kind of our idea on what to do. Yeah, so that's where a CRM comes in, right? And you may have heard us talk about CRM. You may have heard a webinar where we've mentioned it or a blog post. It's kind of becoming a buzzword, I think, in the insurance industry. And as we've joked around before, the insurance industry always seems to be 10 to 20 years behind (laughs) what's pretty commonplace in other businesses. So the idea of a CRM is not new at all, but it's becoming a new concept for many agents, which is good because what that means is your business is scaling You've got a lot of money coming in, a lot of clients, and you're trying to take care of it. So that's why you're interested in these solutions. Okay, so a CRM at its core, it's a software tool that will help you store, organize, and act on all the info you have about your clients. So each client has their own profile in the CRM. Just think of like a, a contact in your phone, but way more advanced. So this is where you know everything about that person, their contact info, notes, conversations you've had with them, products you've sold them, upcoming tasks that you have, and much more. The CRM will also send you follow-up reminders and present simple reports so that nothing slips by, right? Very, very important because if you have 50 clients, okay, you might can maintain that on a piece of paper, but okay, 75, 100, 200, 500 clients, And many of you that listen to this podcast, you have a thousand clients. Things are going to start slipping through the cracks. 
especially now when we're not meeting in person people that we work with. And so you're not catching up and saying, oh, happy birthday or, oh, how are the kids? Because you're not seeing anybody during COVID. So it's really critical now that you have a system in place that you can reach out to these people and check on them, see how they're doing. So here's some ways that a CRM can help your business if you're using it to to its full potential. Um, Increase sales, right? And we're going to talk about a little bit as we go through this. Um, how increased sales can come from more production at the front end, but also when it comes to cross-selling and how that can have a bigger impact on your overall business as well as referrals. Um, Easier collaboration. If you have a team, if you have an agency, okay, a CRM is going to help you keep track of everything that's going on within that agency. Better client retention, as we've already discussed before. It's going to help you save time less busy work. It's going to help you never miss a follow-up. And it's going to create less stress and anxiety. And we could all use less stress and anxiety, I think. So Chris, what information should we be keeping up with in a CRM? Well, especially if you heard our podcast a few weeks ago with David Ireland, he had some amazing suggestions on what you should put in your spreadsheet. And I think here is a good time for us to repeat that. Uh, If you don't have a system already, all you have to do is create a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet you can find on any computer, especially if you are a Google user, or if not, you just create it yourself. So we want, of course, to have all of the common information that we would have. Name, date of birth, address, phone number, an email address. But then you want to get into specifics with your business. So if you're a Medicare agent, you want to, of course, include their Medicare number. If you're an, um, an ACA agent or another um, agent, of course, use that information. Uh, make sure you know what plan they're in, uh, their effective date. If they have Part A, Part B, also those effective dates. Your, their primary care physician is a good thing to know or to keep track of. Their date of appointment, um, where you where they were referred to or who referred them to you. Mm-hmm. And um, that's another great time to look at, you know, looking at um, getting other referrals. And we can talk about that here uh, in a minute. Yeah. Um, if they're a new client... And if their commissions have, are, have been paid for that year, uh, if you listen to the podcast with David, he had some really good uh, reasons why that's important. You want to make sure your commission was paid to make sure that that plan was, you know, actually entered into the system. So that's a good thing to keep track of so you know and make sure that even if it's a new a client, or if it's a refer or a um, an existing client, you want to make sure you keep track of your commissions, and then also a place for an annual review. I think it's a really good idea to have a space where you can comment on, okay, they they just lost a spouse, or they things like that, where you talk to them annually. So you know what's going on in their life. You know the important things about each of your clients because really, truthfully, we're in a relationship business. And if you don't know those things, then um, shame on you, right? Yep. (laughs) So those are just some ideas on what to put in a spreadsheet if if you want to create a really good CRM yourself um, and you're not going to use something else, but... Uh, this is just really a good starting point. Yeah, and once again, what is a CRM? It's a customer relationship management system. And as we always talk about in the insurance industry, it's all about relationships. And people have come to a certain extent to expect that their details are going to be remembered, that you're going to know when their birthday is, that you're going to know all their information. How embarrassing is it if you have to call up a client because you don't even know Hey, hey, what? When were you eligible for Medicare again? Right. How awful hey, would that be? Hey, what? What did I sell you again? What product are you yeah. on? Yeah. Or let's say a client was to call you because they're confused about their plan. Let's say it's the OEP 
and they have that one opportunity to change and they're a little confused. They call you up and they say, hey, let's just say I'm the agent. Hey, Gillen, I, I'm a little confused about blah, blah, blah. And they just start going into it and they start talking about the plan and you're sitting there going, crap, what did I sell them? Hmm. And then you're going to have to ask them. Yeah. That's not a good look. It's not a good look. <laughs> they need to know that you have this under control, that you have them taken care of, and that you know them because they see this as a one-on-one relationship. You may have 100 to 500 to 1,000 clients, but every single client needs to feel like this is a one-on-one relationship. These tools help you to do that. See, technology, for what it's worth, its pros and cons – This kind of stuff is where technology is very, very helpful because it helps humans focus on what humans are good at and it helps computers do what they're good at. Right. Computers are really good at keeping track of things and then humans are really good at building relationships. And so you got to have both if you want to scale. Yeah. And I think too, um, we talked briefly about birthdays. If, if it is your, um, wish and goal to send out birthday, emails or cards every for every one of your clients, you can list your clients by their birthday. That way you've got all your January birthdays in one spot. Your February birthdays are listed together. So that way you can keep organized with, uh, if that's important to you, in, in reaching out to your client on their birthday. Yes, absolutely. A lot of those things can be automated too. Um, and we can get into that as we go through some CRMs. So I think the next step here would be to talk about some actual systems. I have people calling me all the time saying, Hey, I have heard you guys talk about a CRM. I kind of realizing that I'm to that point. Um, what should I do? And unfortunately I can't give folks just a one size fits all answer. So I thought it would be helpful to, break it down. I've sort of built like four different profiles to help you choose. And I have gone through hundreds of systems to try to save you some time in figuring out what's a best fit for this insurance industry specifically. So let's go into that now. So if you have less than 50 clients, maybe this is a side gig for you. Maybe you have a limited budget and, and maybe you're just, you're not quite ready to invest in a tool yet, but you know you need to start keeping better track of things. Well, if that is you, then a free solution, and, and as David alluded to in the OEP podcast, would be a spreadsheet. And the best tool for that is Google Sheets. If you have a Gmail or you need to create a free Gmail if you don't have one, Google Sheets is the best one. Why is it the best one? Well, because it's cloud-based, and that means that if you wanted to try to integrate it with some other things, you would be able to do that. And we'll explain a little bit more of that later. But Google Sheets, you could set up. There's templates that you could download. There's CRM templates that you can implement into Google Sheets. Once again, this is going to be very, very bare-boned. It's not going to have a lot of capability, but at least it's a record book. Right. Of your book of business. But you also mentioned that Google is universal, meaning mm-hmm. you can see it on your phone. You yes. can go to a random computer and type in your Gmail account. So you can get to that wherever you are, uh, even if it's in a pinch and you need to look up something about a client, there it is on your phone. And how easy is is that? I mean, it really, it truly is easy. And even if you do, I suggest, and, and you may agree with this, it's not a bad idea to have a Google spreadsheet anyway, mm-hmm. even if you use a paid um, CRM uh, company, because that way you do have all your information in one place. So I think Google, mm-hmm. you should, all, everybody should do that. Yeah, totally agree. Um. All right, next up on this agenda here, less annoying CRM. Yes, I'm not making up that name. Less annoying <laughs> CRM. So this is a program I stumbled across uh, a while back and have been very, very impressed with the tool. Um, if you're an insurance agent, especially if it's just you as a solopreneur, um, this is a pretty great tool. It comes in at $15 a month, which is 
incredible. Um, a little bit about that tool. It's built for small businesses. So most CRMs are designed for huge companies. And that's a fact. Most of them are. And I do feel like there's this, this huge curve. And that's why so many people are intimidated to get started with this is because you may hear big names. I'm sure you've heard the name Salesforce, Oracle, right? Big companies like that. And you're just like, how much is this going to cost? Yeah. There's no way that this is going to benefit me enough to justify the expense. No. And it's so complicated. It's intimidating. Yeah. Too many bells and whistles that you don't need mm-hmm. in those bigger ones. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So I can certainly empathize with that concern. Mm-hmm. And so less annoying CRM, uh, they literally made it, as you can assume by the name, to be less, less annoying. annoying. Um, so it's it's built for small businesses. Um Pretty much what they say is we give you everything you need and none of the junk that you don't. Yeah. Um, you it's affordable. You gotta like the name, right? I yeah. Mean, it's, it's a pretty funny name. <laughs> it's pretty there. funny. Um, so it's affordable, right? It's $15 a month. There's no contracts, no commitments, and you can even try it out free for 30 days. And I've reviewed several of these tools um, in preparation for for helping you all with this topic. And um, did their free trial. Absolutely very impressed with it for $15 a month. Um, I think it's a great fit for a lot of folks. Um, And they talk about, you know, we don't do shady sales tactics. A lot of CRM companies make it hard to figure out exactly how much it's going to cost. And that is especially true with the big players like Salesforce, as we know with experience at our company with Salesforce. Um, It's all very vague. And pricing pretty much changes every single day, and it depends on how many users you have. And um, they always are trying to slide in some extra tool or email thing that you you got to have. Yeah. Less annoying CRM, you're not having to deal with that. And they have amazing customer service. So if you're interested in that tool, once again, we're not sponsored by them or anything. Um, but I just I want you all to know about it. You can start a free trial and, and try it out for 30 days. I think you'll be impressed with it. I think a 30-day trial is a minimum for what anybody should try out. I mean, sometimes you see these 15-day trials or 14-day trials. Uh Uh-uh. I need a 30-day trial. (laughs) I want to get my hands. uh -uh. (laughs) Uh -uh. (laughs) So just try it. You have nothing to lose at this point, right? Yeah, so that's a $15 a month price point. Low investment, y'all. I mean, gosh, that's... I'm not a math whiz here, but that's not very much for the year. Mm-mm. Much less than one commission that you would get from an insurance sale. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the next one up is called PipeDrive. PipeDrive is the CRM I use for my personal LLC um, outside of work here. Um, no matter your industry, you can customize PipeDrive to fit your sales process. So the way I classify this is this is for the agent who wants a full CRM that really can do just about everything that the big players can do, but it, it's, it's at a much more reasonable price point, and it can integrate with just about anything. So um, me, right, I'm a digital marketing guy, so I want to have tools to integrate with Facebook. I want to be able to integrate with all my email marketing. I want everything to be talking to each other. I want to have a chat widget on my website um, because my business is very technology-driven. Uh, the other great thing about PipeDrive is it literally puts things in pipelines, hence the name PipeDrive. Right. So <clears throat> you can create these processes. And I'm sure with each customer, each client, you have learned sort of your flow, right? Lead comes in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is going to reach out to them. The next thing I'm going to do is set an appointment, blah, 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 blah. And I have these pipelines. Well, what's great about PipeDrive is I can see a visual of where everybody is in that process. The other great thing is it has a lot of automation tools. So a lot of times, depending on somebody's status, it'll automatically send them different messages. It could send them a text. Let's say you have an upcoming appointment. It could remind them. Possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. So if you're kind of a little more on the techie side and you want a full-fledged CRM that can do everything you're of your wildest dreams, right. but it's at a reasonable price point. Um, Pipe Drive, highly, highly recommend it. Um, yep. Once again, that's somebody that that really likes to play with this stuff. But it's but it was also made to be simple. Um, the guys that started Pipe Drive, I believe a couple of them were in insurance actually, 
So, so they get it. There is some connection there. Yeah. Um, and it was built by salespeople. And, and that's why I trust in them. They've also recently gotten a lot of investments, um, investors into their company. So they're not going anywhere. I also think that's very important to look for. Um, you may see ads all the time for different tools and people trying to sell you things. Um, just like if you decided to partner with the brokerage, you see they have a track record of, you know, 40 plus years. Um, same concept. You want to make sure these companies are not going anywhere. Now in PipeDrive, do they um, charge you by your your customer, how do they determine how much they're going to charge you? Sure. Good question. So pipe drive, same with the less annoying CRM. These CRM providers do not charge by the customer. They charge per user. So per subscriber of the system. Um, So you could have unlimited customers or clients in there. Now with an email marketing tool, a lot of times they charge by how many customers you have. Right. But the, the CRM tools I've discussed here, it's it's just what features you want. So I put the price range on PipeDrive. It's $25 to $50 a month. They have a cheaper package, but you're not going to want that. You're going to want the $25 one to start with. The $50 a month one might be a better fit if you have a team that you're trying to collaborate with or um, you want to be able to send bulk emails just right from within your CRM. But most of those tools, my personal recommendation is that you don't, as an insurance agent, and even for my personal business, my LLC, um, the $25 a month package sufficiently covers everything that I need. Um, so that's probably all you're going to need. Yeah. But still then, if you're really comparing it, it's only $10 more than the less annoying CRM. Yep. You know, And so it, it may be worth it to look into that for all, you yeah. know, all and that you get. They do a free trial as well. I can't remember. Um, I don't know if it's up to 30 days. It might be one of those 14-day um, free trials. But uh, as we're telling you about this stuff, certainly try out all these tools right. and see what's a good fit for your business um, because we're not sponsored by any of them. Nope, this, this isn't an ad. This has just been through doing homework and figuring out what's the best solution. And I've had to come up with these answers because so many agents – as the digital marketing guy, I guess they just assume, oh, he'll, he, he probably knows. And I used to really kind of burden me because I was like, well, here's what I would do. Right. But that's not what everybody's going to do. And so that's how I've come up with this like four option, check the box on which one fits you better. I can see why they trust you because you really do know what you're talking about. Um, I've worked with you long enough to know that even in your spare time, you're looking into these things. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm an entrepreneur myself, right? Um, love my day job here. Appreciate, you know, everything I have here, but when I'm not here, I'm probably also working on my other stuff. Um, and so I'm, I really am passionate about it for you sure. Are. You are. Um, the last little tool here is called agency block. Um, now agency block, they define themselves as an AMS, an agency management system. So they try to make their tool um, distinctive from just a basic CRM. And <clears throat> it fulfills a lot of the same purposes that these other CRMs do. Um, just to read some of the features to you, you know, they claim to be the number one agency recommended management system. It includes life and health insurance specific CRM, real time agency analytics and customer uh, and custom reporting business and marketing automation. Plus, with the commissions module, you can import commission statements, assign multiple payees, track revenue, um, uncover missed commissions, create projections, all that good stuff. Um, And they also say, you know, it's 24-7 access and they're serious about HIPAA compliance. Um, That's very important too. So, agency block starts at $65 a month. So, this is definitely the most expensive on the list. I want to throw them out there because the brokerage, we do have a relationship with them. I have a personal relationship with their sales manager. We've even spoken at a conference together. And it was a little awkward because I was talking about getting your business organized and I I threw out a different CRM, one of them that was on this list. And um, he kind of came and challenged me afterward. He was like, hey, how can we improve our tool? I'm going to tell you guys, that spoke volumes to me. Absolutely. Because he he could have had the attitude of like, and it's not like we have a... um, a marketing relationship with them. We just use agency block here as our agency management system. And it does a great job for that. 
I just didn't know if it was the greatest tool <clears throat> for the local agent, especially the price point of $65 a month. But let's give them credit. They really were wanting to improve what they do. They're trying to make it the best tool possible for life and health insurance agents. And so for that, we definitely want to give them a shout out. Um, and it is very specific to this industry. And here is the, the pro of working with Agency Block. If you sign up with Agency Block, once again, free trial. You can try it out, see if it fits you. If you are an agency with multiple hierarchies and you've got this big downline structure, you're right. Pipe drive, less knowing CRM, they're probably not going to be the best tool for you. Right. You need to keep up with that because you're not just keeping up with clients. You're keeping up with agents. I mean, you're running a full agency. Agency block allows you to manage both your agents and your clients. That's nice. Yeah. So it was built for this industry. And the great thing too is their support team. They know this industry. Whereas these other tools, you're, they're going to have people on their team that understand insurance. But Agency Block is all about insurance. So they're worth considering. Yeah. And I like that you showed an example um, for agents and then also one for an agency. Because you're right. I think there is a difference when you're managing agents and clients. And so agency block does sound like a really good fit for that, for that person. So those are the recommended tools. Now let's get this into practice to, to give you some advice here on once again, why is this so important? And I want you to see how this can benefit your business. Okay. Let's say that you're a Medicare or a health insurance agent and the busy season has passed and now you're kind of in that lull, right? And that happens in the insurance industry. The number one indicator of success and the number one motivator for salespeople, it's called activity, activity, conversations, okay? And a lot of people get caught up and they confuse activity with busy work. Right. The CRM's taken all the busy work out of this. Right. And it should enable you to then create activity. Activity would be actually having discussions with clients that could lead to sales, which leads to revenue, retention, and referrals for you, right? Another thing that's really helpful, I think, and, and I know I use it. I'm not sure if you use this system, but batch working can be really, really effective if you are well organized and you um, and you stick to it. it, it's it's really something that you can do where you plan out a day and you do everything that day. So Monday is going to be my CRM day. I'm going to load my spreadsheets. I'm going to check in on people. I'm going to use that to start my week. Tuesdays, maybe you're meeting with clients. You know things like that where you have a day of the week where you set aside time for that particular. Uh, part of your business. Mm -hmm. And so I really like batch working for something like setting up a CRM because mm -hmm. you know, if Monday's my day and I am just on my computer and I am getting it all in there, I'm doing it, I'm checking on people, I'm doing all that on Mondays. And that way you know that um, everything, every part of your business is being taken care of uh, when you do things like that. I don't know. Do you use batch working when you? I do. I do. And let's now apply that to insurance agents. Okay. And coming back to, to that lull we were just talking about, if I'm in that lull and I'm like, okay, I need to get activity going for my business. I'm going to say, oh, the brokerage has just talked to me about this new hospital indemnity product, right? We're talking about that in the month of February here. And we're actually wrapping that up now. So how do I get that out? Well, if I have a CRM, Guess what I can do? I can pull all of my Medicare Advantage clients and anyone else who I think would be a good fit. And I'm doing this on my batch work day, like you said, Chris. Right. And I can create a call campaign. I can create an email campaign. All of that in my CRM. I can have that scheduled to go out beginning of the week. And then guess what? The rest of the week, as people are responding and activity is being produced, you're spending the rest of the week working what you have just set up. Exactly. And your leads are your current clients. That's going to increase your retention. 
Another great thing about it is you could create a referral program within your CRM. You could look at all the people because guess what? If you have a CRM, you can take notes and write notes on every single client. So then you can put in, pull in notes of everyone who said they would send you referrals and you could pull a list of all those people. Right. And then you could talk to them about, hey, do you know anybody who could benefit from this? Like, because I think the way it works is you, you, you get a good indication at the point of sale whether or not this is going to be a referral person for you, a referral client. Some clients are going to love you and they're just going to tell everybody about you. Other clients, you know, they're not as enthusiastic. That's just how the business goes. Right. But if you have notes of everyone who showed that kind of enthusiasm, then why not on a regular basis remind them? Check in with them first, right? Show them that you care. Work on that relationship, but always, always, always close it with, hey, I just want to remind you that um, if you know someone that is in need of my services, I, I would love to help them. Um, they just have to contact me first. Right. Regularly be reminding your clients of that. See the magic of that. Right. See the magic of that take place. All that starts with CRM. And I do think you're probably going to see more of your clients saying, oh, yeah, you know what, I have a couple friends turning 65 next year. And I think if they just reached out to you and find out what their options are, that would be really helpful. You know, you can remind your, your clients that you're here if anybody needs you. Uh, and I think that will drive referrals. Um, because if they're happy with you and they trust you enough to, to call on you and to have other friends call on you, then I think that's, that's a big part of your business. Things like happy birthday. We talked about that earlier. Okay, you can have reminders on everybody's birthday that you send them a card. This is basic just customer retention stuff, but you are building a relationship with your people. And, and the last thing, like we touched on earlier too, a CRM is going to really, really, really help you with customer support. So as clients are calling in, they're concerned about this or that, whatever the case may be, you can say, okay, cool, while you're on the phone with them. You pull them up, their profile. Okay, now you get a big overview of everything, every interaction, every call y'all have had, everything you've talked about. You can read all your past notes, and you can start to connect the dots and better service your customers. And really, at the end of the day, especially in the insurance industry, that's when it starts to matter. Because if you've sold them a plan that they're happy with to begin with, and then you're just available, you're just available. That's what's going to keep them with you more than anything else. Them knowing that they can trust to call you and that you're going to take care of them. Yeah, and I really do think, again, it depends on the level of, of, of the business person you want to be. And if you don't know anything about your client, they're not going to stick around very long. Somebody else is going to come in and yep. scoop them up. So the more you know about your clients, of course, the better. And the more you reach out to them, the more you communicate with them, the more they know you are their partner in this and not just a salesperson. That's right. So I think we uh, can wrap it up at this point. Um, I hope this helped you all, gave you some practical advice. We're going to put all these systems in the show notes so that you can go check them out, get a free trial. Um, once again, that's just Google Sheets, Less Annoying CRM, Pipe Drive, and Agency Block. Check them out. Stop procrastinating. Get organized. You can do this. We'll see you next time.